Going bankrupt by a company or individual from a magical perspective. About a year ago, a company that failed to pay me what it owed, went bankrupt. Does this mean that by law they owe me nothing? What does bankruptcy mean for both parties involved from a magical perspective? For those who still owe and those who are owed to? From a magical perspective this indicates the loss of resource and opportunities to receive it from there. But that doesn't mean that you can't get it from another source. The social world tells you that you can no longer get anything from this former source. If you, I repeat, are completely involved with the social world, if you are entirely under the social egregores, and nothing in your organizational structure or your personal mind is connected to any other systems, then you'll be forced, as they say, to just swallow it. But if you are not entirely involved with the social world, if a part of your mind, or perhaps, a major part of it, dwells within a magical paradigm of the world, then you can say, no, I don't accept the loss of this resource, and I demand satisfaction. Perform a certain ritual, maybe write down a runic formula, appeal to the gods or do any other ritual that you know. You will be compensated from a different source, that is not from where you initially planted but from another source, but in any case, you'll get it. Your main goal will be not to miss this fact because as you know, the human consciousness is not the most attentive, sometimes it can't see that you won the lottery not because your God helped you but because once upon a time 20 years ago someone stole from you and that's how you are currently being reimbursed. If in this moment, the cause and effect sequence won't get lost within your consciousness but, instead, manifests itself in your mind, then you will be able to form a correct worldview and be connected even more via magical connections with other aspects of reality, because your logic won't disrupt these connections. Meaning that, I repeat, in any case you'll be reimbursed for all your losses and contributions if you are able not to be only involved with the social world and nothing else. On the physical plane it manifests as multiple types of various activities, not just in one single financial aspect, or a business aspect, where you happen to face this situation, but through various other vectors. This way you will divide your time between several directions, and the magic will make everything happen. Magic will equalize all these debts, it never happens that it doesn't. But if you are fixated on the only one egregore, for instance, the egregore of marketing, on the territory of a particular country without any interactions with other countries, and you have no other means, and you never even thought about them, for example, I don't know, to buy cryptocurrency so that you'll make lots of money entirely on the market's volatility so that this ridiculous volatility would reimburse your damages. Otherwise you will be the victim of the changing system. Everything somewhat depends on your personal status. The personal status is always higher for those who are able to divide their intention vectors between different directions of a social and not social life. It is possible to receive retribution from everywhere, you just need to set your priorities straight. And if you keep in mind that these are merely social games, and money is simply money, then your resource will return to you much faster.